Jadon Sancho could be offered an escape route by Borussia Dortmund. Manchester United brushed off a loan transfer approach from his old club in January. Yet Dortmund planned to launch a fresh move in the next window if Sancho fails to make peace with Eric Ten Hag. Relations remain strained, and Dortmund chiefs are keeping a close eye on how the situation develops over the next few months. If United decide enough is enough in the January window, they would still want a hefty chunk of the player's near £300,000 a week wages covered. Sancho has always insisted he is determined to make the great at Old Trafford. But last week's bust-up has given Dortmund hope of landing him again. Sources close to Ten Hag claim that he hoped Sancho's omission from the squad at Arsenal, and the subsequent explanation of his decision, would lay down a challenge to the 23-year-old that would be accepted Eric Ten Hag has been shocked. By the way his row with Jadon Sancho has escalated. The Manchester United boss left the England winger out of United squad for the trip to Arsenal last week, because he felt his £73 million man needed to be reminded of his responsibilities, after allowing his performances in training to slip. Sources close to Ten Hag claim that he hoped Sancho's omission and the subsequent explanation of his decision would lay down a challenge to the 23-year-old that would be accepted. So the Dutchman was dismayed when the player responded by posting a rebuttal on social media, claiming he was being made a scapegoat for United's inconsistent start to the season. Sancho wrote, Please don't believe everything you read. I will not allow people saying things that is completely untrue. I have conducted myself in training very well this week. I believe there are other reasons for this matter that I won't go into. I've been a scapegoat for a long time which isn't fair. All I want to do is play football with a smile on my face and contribute to my team. I respect all decisions that are made by the coaching staff. I play with fantastic players and grateful to do so, which I know every week is a challenge. I will continue to fight for this badge no matter what. The post has remained pinned on Sancho's account for almost a week. Ten Hag feels the whole situation has been blown out of proportion, and believes it can still be resolved to allow Sancho to prove he deserves a P. That the United boss is also aware, that he cannot allow his authority to be so brazenly challenged by a member of his squad. And he wants Sancho to heed the wake-up call. Ten Hag would have not stood in Sancho's way. If United had been able to agree a deal to send the former Manchester City and Borussia Dortmund star to the Saudi Pro League, Steven Gerrard's Al Etifak club wanted to take the winger on loan, but were unwilling to accept a pound's 50 million obligation to buy. United were also willing to listen to offers for Sancho during the transfer window, although Ten Hag made it clear to the club that there were other players who would prefer to see leave the club first.